What is happening, everybody? Trey here, joined by my dad, Sean, and today, reactions to the classics. We have another Eurovision battle coming your way. This time, a battle of the uh, the, the letter B countries, I yes. guess is what I'll call it. Yeah. Belgium versus, uh, versus Bulgaria. We have the Rhythm Inside from Loic Note versus If Love Was a Crime by Polly Genova. Thanks, as always, to our longtime friend and patron and Eurovision connoisseur of the channel, John, for uh, putting this battle uh, together for us. He noted that this this is a song battle based on countries that have been floundering at Eurovision until they suddenly come up with the competitive song everyone talked about. Yeah, he called it Rise from the Ashes. So first up, Rhythm Inside by Loic Note. For quite some time, John says Belgium had been in the doldrums. In 2013, a young man named Roberto decided to have a go and came in 12. The French language broadcaster that picked him then decided to see how much further they could go and dropped the song Rhythm Inside by Loic Note. It took the Eurovision fandom by storm as the bravery and lust for winning was so unexpected. Here was a song that built on past efforts and struck out with a new Belgian sound. Loic is a natty, sensitive guy with his own sound that has been influencing Belgian efforts mm. since 2015. Well loved as a singer that refines his art and serves the song, as they say, Everyone loves Loic. This song took fourth place oh, wow. at the grand finale. Uh, it's been described as an alt, uh, alternative inspired pop, new wave, R&B, electro, soul, and hip hop song. So a little bit of everything, I guess, here. Everything. With minimalistic instrumentation consisting of finger clicks, percussion, and synthesizer pads. Lyrically, it's going to discuss moral universalism. Wow. Uh, so with that said, uh, we're going to have this uh, video up. If for some reason the video gets blocked, we'll uh, just put like a, a, a photo over so at least we can hear the sound and uh, there will be a link down in the description. But uh, all that said, thank you, John. Let's get it. I'm big in this stage setup. I am too. I was thinking the same thing. Classy right there. Listen to the sound of thunder rolling in the show down under. Far beneath their skin, it rumbles. Step to the step of the drum that the rolls inside. Be you and I. Props to the lighting guy, too, man. Yeah, no yeah. joke. All right, 
rhythm inside. Uh, Woick did a couple things I thought was interesting. But, well, one, first off, on these songs, I've never seen this much backing vocals. On yeah, the exactly. Song. Yeah, we had the the, the five people just well, then uh, they're all, like I would say for what seventy five percent of the mm-hmm. song probably, and I thought they sounded best. And I thought Woick's vocals are okay, but they sounded way better as it usually does when you're harmonizing. The other thing he did that was interesting is he laid down. Yeah, I, I well, and you notice too, all the backing vocals dressed in all white. He and all black, you know, always looking for the symbolism for the the Eurovision, right? And yeah, <laughs> you mentioned at the start, the stage looks fantastic, but vocalists don't lay down because you can't properly um, get the air out to project your voice. Now, Chris Martin does it a lot for Coldplay and concerts. He's about the only guy I've ever seen lay down and mm-hmm. actually sing a decent amount of the song. So I thought that was interesting. I thought it was good. I thought more the you talked about the visualization and kind of the performance aspect of it oh, yeah. was better than the song itself. Yeah, man, I'd, uh, I'd be on that same wavelength, yeah. so to speak. And uh, I mean, uh, the song itself, I thought, as with a lot of Eurovision, that chorus was uh, the best part. Cause it it's got to be, man. It's got to stick catchy in the head. with the rhythm going, uh, going in and, you know, just that idea, uh, the rhythm inside is telling us, we can fly tomorrow. Oh, the beautiful wind that blows on the cosmic track, Love Attack. So uh, as with a lot of, it seems, Eurovision songs that uh, place high, right? They kind of have that universal type message that uh, all types of countries you know can uh, relate to so to speak so yeah man i thought it was a a cool cool little performance right there uh really enjoyed the visuals on it and now we're going to go to poly uh, genova's track if love was a crime Uh, john notes that many fans in 2016 had drawn up their list well before the last entry for the year dropped onto social media it was only dreary bulgaria for goodness sakes who had a couple of good entries in the past but it since wind away in a great tinged hue for years their entries were bad music to add to the numbers. All that changed when the official entries video hit the screens. Here was a video portraying Bulgaria as sassy, smart, and glamorous. Here was a singer whose song nodded to disco while cleaving to a bold, heavy Bulgarian production and Bulgarian chanting. Many fans' top fives were dramatically changed within 24 hours. Uh, Polly entered Eurovision in 2011 for Bulgaria with the rock song Nat and Nat, which failed to qualify. When her name was revealed, people naturally thought that the entry would be a rock song. What they saw took them by surprise. A great performance netted a well-deserved Ooh. fourth place. Back Again. to back fourth places. All, All right. right. What a crane shot. No joke. Okay. 
need you wearing this get up next I guarantee week. you, man, if I can find some of that. All right, Polly Genova, if love was a crime, bringing it right here uh, again. Um, very impressed with the production on this one. Yeah, it was all about the production. It kind of blew up what I was going to say about it the last 30 seconds because before that, it was all her. Yeah, she yeah. She didn't move around at all. She a just big stayed contrast. in one spot. Yeah, a huge contrast at the very end. The backing vocals came out and kind of pumped it up. But the glow in the dark stuff, because I'm like, that what was is on cool. her ear? I'm like, is that her jacket? And I'm like, no, it's like this huge earring. But uh, I thought it was very, very catchy. Oh, me too, man. I mean, it's like the point you made in the first one very, very much applied to the, this. The, the chorus, very anthemic. Yeah, everybody getting in, kind of. The uh, second it started, everybody. Yeah, started want you to get it. to get clapping just with that the way the rhythm section was constructed, and um, you know, I always, I always give props to the performers who are just out there by themselves. You know, I do too. You know, obviously the last thirty seconds of backing came out as you mentioned, but yeah, for the most part, and you know, knowing what cameras to look at and stuff like that, it's so, a lot harder than it looks, boys and girls. Some of that, you know, performance aspect that maybe isn't, you know, at the top of your mind. Um, but uh, all in all, she had a, I think, a solid, uh, solid voice too. And yeah, man, that get up, I, I got to order you one of those. Dad. Man, I guarantee yeah. I'll wear that man on a live stream. You guys stay tuned. So now we're gonna get to our winner. Try, I think, just for for what you said, I think you mm -hmm. kind of made the point for the winner for me. She's out there by herself. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Polly Genova if love was a crime as the winner. That's what I'm actually going yeah. with as well. You know, sometimes we split these, but uh, we're unanimous today. Uh, no no disrespect to Lola, but no, I, I think that Polly just uh, did a little bit more for me to uh, to put her over the top in this uh, battle today. But of course, we want to know from you all down below, what do you have coming out on top in this battle? Uh, and be sure to show um, uh, John some love Definitely. for requesting this. We'll have more Eurovision uh, next month, and we already have a ton of battles up so be sure we to do. check uh, those out as well but uh, until next time y'all thanks so much for watching happy listening and we will see you